Alright, we are recording to continue in Serious Sam, Siberian Mayhem, um, Cube Survived by Tinsel PR for Devolver Digital, and I am not really all that much looking forward to this. Um, just if you watched the, the previous two parts, you, you know I'm not really enjoying it so far. And part of that is because technical issues that I'm probably going to continue for. Uh, the main one is on the test system, which is what I'm currently doing. Um, the main one is it takes a very long time to reload, like after you die. And it like locks the screen while doing that. So it actually seems like everything cracked. Um, but if you wait, it figures it out. On the desktop though, no, it actually does do it. Which is why I'm using the test. It also seemed like some of the saves were corrupted on the uh, desktop. Um, which is why I bundled this up and sent them off to the PR contact so that he can hopefully pass them on. And uh, maybe that's what we can be taken care of. Um, oh dear god. Wait, that's not... Huh? It estimated 45 minutes to play that first level. 47 minutes is not how long it Well, m maybe in total when he's tracked out all in the reloads and such. Um, but yeah, he did that little bit. Um, crap, and that was another. Oh, yeah, the, um, this wasn't, which actually, here, let, let, let's try turning that back on. So, because that, that's what the, uh, does to the Gula Master CK 550. No, yeah. Just a board I like. I, I, I'm, I want to change the keycaps on it, though. I think that would, that would help. I'm serious. I, I, I think it, uh, well, I've put other keycaps on it before, and it, it helped. Made it much nicer. Or to type on. To do anything. I wonder if Cool Master me. Just, it's been a few years, so I could believe that they've moved to a different model. And it, it um, has Gatteron Brown uh, switches, by the way. So that's Gatteron's. I need to get uh, to the other side. There must be a way to move these containers. Um, so they are tactile, but not like, you know, the W4 uh, of the. Uh, I would like to register a request to regard the spelling of my name in official documentation, in likely case of my death at hands of alien invaders. Transliteration of Dimitri into English should use spelling with Y, not I, to prevent creation of inconsistency in historical record. Dimitri with I is name of my grandfather, as noted in previous complaint regarding transliteration of Russian names. He only takes one bullet for that. that. Hey, oh, sorry, I bumped the mic. I'm just. Just trying to pull up the mouse cable itself. To hopefully give it some. Hollow Deep. I leave these notes in case none of us survive. So I, I just like started talking, sent, trying to send them. I'll, I'll try to continue. Forgive me, everyone. Um, as I write this uh, mental toward, as I write this mental toward is moving closer to the. I, I should. Just. With every passing day, and it makes us all very nervous. The majority of our staff was evacuated three days ago, but the transport couldn't fit us all. Uh, there's only a handful of us left. Part of the reason I stopped is because I have a speech impediment and I was realizing, wait, I'm not actually hearing how I'm sounding right now. Because I don't always notice my speech impediment. And my act, the voice you hear is very different from the voice I hear in my head. It's like, ooh, this probably sounds really bad if I keep going with that very bad act. 
And, I mean, my voice is bad enough as it is. Don't worry. Uh, we have some weapons, but it's not nearly. Convoy dropped a bunch of those so weird hollow decoy thing. I don't know how those will help, but I guess we can always keep them for a rainy day. I told Max to put them in storage number five. It has an electric lock, so you have to make sure the door is powered up first. So power, you should run the back of generator near the board building. Max Stilson come back, and I heard some pretty long noise, so I don't know if I should go check on him or stay put. Anyway, my prayers are with you, and I hope that this decoy thing will be more useful to you than was for us. Didn't your mom tell you that burping and bumping is impolite? Hell? than I was expecting it to. You know what I just noticed? That this snow is actually directional. I mean, yes, it is You know, just going through a building inappropriately, but it's not just a generic thing that's being you know, put on screen. It's like, it actually is like, I mean, camera. Anyway. It's also coming through a building. But it's... I'm, Having it appreciate the walls is one thing, but having it actually do the right direction. I'm serious. Now I'm actually trying to think. What is another game where I know it does that? I can't think of one. I really can't. Thing. Uh, um, Spelled neat. I missed the A. It's not falling. Hey, I gotta put some notes. Um, it is actually direction in when you look into direction. You look correct with how the snow is uh, swirling. to the less directional movement of precipitation just generically coming down. Still, the snow is just going through walls you know, better than the generic solution. <clears throat> Never any power when you need it.
realize what those were when I was running towards them. I'm gonna die. Ah! Yep. I've had a good melee though. Really not. In the mouth. Swallowing. Maybe now that I actually have any supply of it. Or the test so. I think I have a flashlight. Actually, a flashlight would have been nice in the uh, part two at that final, final arena fight. Super helpful, wearable. Whoops. I got these guys. Ow, I am in bad shape. But that's part of the reason why I left that there. I'm, I'm definitely die. Oh. Yep. It did kill it, but it still hit. Alright, how far? Um... Just a thing randomly grabbed me.
this is actually like a bad idea, but I'm still gonna do it.
actually seems like things have calmed down. This is annoying, by the way. Like, he should be able to just go straight up. He shouldn't have to, like, go up at an angle or jump. That was throwing me off it. More than one time. And also, I just want to check. His performance is looking... Yeah, it is off. The Babel H.A. Okay. Fall down, man. Yep. been a wonderful thing. Because, I mean, th this is very annoying, for no good reason. So you, you spot it, and, and that's when it's moving. And, and then you got, you got th these assholes that are just infinitely coming. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, this is not well designed. Especially when he's like, oh, you see me? Okay, I'm immediately teleporting away. I mean, no, no, this, this, this is not, this is not acceptable. 
And it's not even like the, this a, a set order that he goes into. He just is randomly picking. And then he stays there, not even long enough for his full salvo miss. I mean, he's, he's, this is really, really frustrating. And there's no good reason. Because we really need this! What the fuck? In, in what universe does somebody think that this is good design? It shouldn't be this one. on that side. But that that really was not good design. There is something back here. There's also stuff back here. This is a terrible idea, right? said before about exploring? That's why. Get that one. Not that, but not all that reliable. Ah, shit.
I'm gonna say... I don't think that it's done throwing enemies at me, but at least it's home, right? That worked. I, I really had no reason. And that's less about saying something about what I expect the game to be doing, and more about... And more about, um, my own. I thought I had picked up that health, apparently I didn't. Let me go grab that, then go. And I'll save again. Because you like good looking save saves, don't you? going, but it tell generally or just, just so you can see how I'm trying to scan around or anything. 
Oh man, because I am definitely trying to spot stuff. Down and come back. It's just, it's enough of a uh, set decoration, as I, as I could see it being wet. No, th those are actually good. Now let's hit.
can just hang there. Oh, I actually need to go this way. <laughs> I, I was thinking that I would be going this way. Um, that's actually terrible. I, I I don't I don't want to find stuff that is going to help me survive what I'm coming. Because it means there's something coming. Oh wait, that's right. Hey, quick say. Uh, it's still something. I don't see. Or no? I don't know. Okay, it's gone now. Hello? Any survivors? Calvary's here. Oh, thank God. I thought I would never make it out of here. The monsters killed my unit and trapped me in here. I tried to contact the local partisans, but they're too far and I. <laughs> I can get its weapons though, then it will be extremely awesome. Died there. I was jumping over that beam. I had it. And. All the way back.
just I, I really do want it. See? One make sure I got all the pickup. A Shulka called Brain has betrayed humanity and flies towards Sungaskar. If you notice a plane with triple A signs on it, shoot on sight. I repeat, shoot on sight. Hey, can you hear me? I can use a little help. Hello, comrades. Who is speaking? My name's Sam Stone. I'm heading towards Tunguska, but I'm afraid I forgot my travel brochure at home. Wait, Sam Stone himself? Oh, holy shit, man! Uh, my name is Igor Ledo. Where are you exactly? I'm, uh... Not quite sure. Looks like an oil refinery. Wow, you're a long way from home. Listen, you need to get out of that refinery and head straight to the south. Me and my partisan squad can help you to reach Tunguska. We'll be waiting for you in a small village called Kalinovka. You can't miss it. Sounds great. Thanks, comrade. No problem, man. Hey, give your gold link to our channel just in case. I think this level is done. Ah, screw it. Ah. I'm big. What am I supposed to do? Those missiles are very fast. Unexpected guests. Oh, well, you'll be happy to know I have a great plan. I'll be happy when it works. Oh! Oh, you know what? I'll get back to you later. I don't know why I think so hard. It's not like my plans are sense. This is so very.
That is what's been shooting at me. No, it's a gas bag. Actually, no. No, I do want Because it seems like a good, good, safe time. So, and now I want to... You know, he destroyed the gate. But also look over there. It's over there, too. That I ran by. Aha! remember if that's right. So, can okay. But only okay. And I, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I am enjoying the second. True, not running into the, uh, Technical issues so much, but I could also believe it's in part because, yeah, be at this point I'm better equipped, so it's balanced quite so too. Giant robotic chainsaw arm has four words that were meant to go together. See in the final control side again. Out loud. Uh, we decided to be perfect equipment, self-defense, and that's when it struck me. When I was a kid, I used to love watching these old movies about giant robots fighting creatures from here. That's how I remember these old cargo robots we brought from we bought from Italy a few years back. Uh, after three days of hard work, some black magic we managed to put those robots with a couple of old rocket launchers, then EDF convoy dropped on our doorstep. That was still not enough, so Max just we weld the old industrial chainsaws to their arms. No idea how these things ended up in the refinery, but they look like it. they're at least 200 years old. They're big, dangerous, and somehow still working. So there's something to be said for old time engineering. Fortunately, all these modifications drain a lot of juice, so the batteries run out very fast, and their charge time is just unacceptable. Sadly, I had to leave my mech baby in the maintenance hangar. Let's hope the power won't die at the worst moment. Sounds like exactly what's gonna happen. Um. See? Always four, and that's a leg. That's a gun on. I think we're going to be building a mech, boys. Oh, shit, 
I would like to register a complaint regarding vehicle maintenance at refinery. Vehicle batteries are lacking charge, and battery storage facility contains excessive amount of hostile alien life forms. However, as weather is reminiscent of pleasant spring day and place I grew up, I have decided to walk to scientific research outpost to join ETF. A mech with a chainsaw. I love Russia. I doesn't look like there's anything to pick up, but the
By the way, I'm definitely enjoying this level more than first. And not just because this is fun, but uh, some of the stuff earlier also. And I, I said that. Well. Yeah, that first level is usually too long, especially when you die and you need to hope the game reloads in a reasonable amount of time. So 
sorry. There can be only one. So I just did a little bit. Fun while it lasted, but every party's got to end something. The hell, hit. Thirty-five minutes that's supposed to take. It says fifty-three. The actual time is an hour fourteen. As you can see by down. <laughs> Look at the kill bonus. Alright. Well, I will be stopping. So uh third level is its own, but uh yeah. So far Russia doesn't seem so alien to me. Different country, same extraterrestrial crap. Yep. Uh, well, ice under mental feet, and soon he's gonna sl uh, slip. One. <laughs> Those battle bears when you need him so much. Uh, all right. Um. No, yeah, I'm just gonna stop and start the next recording right away. Why not do it that way? All right, uh, yeah, so see you next time, but I, I, I should say this. This one definitely felt a lot more fun than the first level. I, I don't know why. It could just be better level design. It could also be that the uh, first one, um, you know, just it, it, the balancing stuff, that it, it really did feel like it was uh, not balanced for somebody literally starting from it, it, it really did it felt like it should have he should have more weapons should have definitely had more skills and the skills we found all right see you next time